And moving on, sources say the NDA government is mulling changing the name of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir to Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. This reflects the strategic shift in its approach to Jammu and Kashmir. After the row over Article 370, the centre seems to be weighing its options to rename Pakistan-occupied Kashmir as Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. A move believed to be part of the BJP government's approach on the state aimed at amending what was seen as the Kashmir-centric approach. But what will this change in nomenclature mean? It doesn't. It's all cosmetic. How does it help? If you remember, the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir was known as Maharaja of Kashmir. How does it help in resolving the issues? The contention is that calling the region Pakistan-occupied Kashmir neglects two big portions of the state, Ladakh and Jammu, which are larger in terms of size. But the reality of Jammu and Kashmir is more complex than many would like to believe. There are regions, sub-regions and ethnicities with diverse opinions. I am looking forward to the two countries that are in the middle of the hostilities and will be able to put an end to that, not to start new controversies. Even as the proposal has been dismissed as a mere cosmetic move, Chief Minister Omar Abdullah tweeted, saying, I look forward to working with the new government as they unveil their plans for the honourable return of the displaced Pandit community. In fact, Kashmir's main political parties have been unanimous in their support to the government's roadmap for the return of thousands of Kashmiri Pandits who fled the valley in the 1990s as militancy began. We would like to have Kashmiri Pandits back. Any time is good time for their return because we feel incomplete. What is in a name called Rose by any other name, they say it will smell as sweet. But will renaming Pyok as Pyok help the BJP-led government to find a solution to the vexed problem of Jammu and Kashmir? In Srinagar, Nazir Masoodi for NDTV.